All right, we have a pass through this question now, so let's do it. Sine theta equals r on L, r on L. So therefore, I can just say that r, that's the thing I'm after, remember? I'm actually after r. r is going to be L sine theta, right? 1.4 sine pi on 6. Yeah, so the radius is? Okay, good. Meters? Good. What was I using that again for? Uh, to sub into Okay, good. I can pop that into this guy now, right? 10 theta equals blah, blah, blah. So I can say, uh, but 10 theta equals r omega squared on g. So I know what theta is. It's pi on 6. I just worked out what the radius was, 0 0.7. Omega is what I'm trying to find out, right? Now I think, <laughs> yeah, they're a bit naughty. Um, they should define the questions should define what g is. Okay. Sorry? Uh, I just haven't finished, I just haven't finished. The question should define g, okay? But I went through and I double checked on, on their numbers, okay? They're expecting us to use g equals 9.8, okay? Uh, now, in an exam context, you will never have to worry about this because one of two things will happen. Neither one, uh, number one, they'll say answer in terms of g, or they'll tell you what g is. Okay, but this is, you know, it's an exercise. They've just been like, ah, you know, go through the process. The number itself doesn't matter at the end, but this is just so you make sure you get the right answer. Okay, so I'm just going to write um, <coughs> if g equals 9.8. Okay. Okay, what shall I do? Uh, um, you divide, oh, wait, no, you, you can evaluate the time. Yep, 10 pi on 6 is. Come on, we should one do this. Three, 1 on root three. 3. Very good. 1 on root 3. I'm going to, at the same time, get all of this stuff over this side. So that's 9.8 on 0 0.7. This is omega squared. So omega is going to be the square root of uh, 9.8 on 0 0.7 root 3. Okay? It doesn't matter if it's positive or negative because either way, you're still going to get angular. That's exactly right. So I'm just going to say for this value, like for this one, okay? Oh, I've got... Okay, alright, you got a number for me? Okay, so, yeah? Oh, 2.84. Wait, hmm? I did, I did that. Two. Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Actually, I'm, I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. Oh. Because remember, sorry, let's climb back up this red ladder. Why did I want Omega in the first place? Find the to find the period. Okay. So the period is um, two, pi. 2 pi on Omega. So it's 2 pi on this thing. Uh, 2 pi on the square root of, and now this is the thing that we're ready to evaluate. It's 2.21. 2.21 what? Um, radians. Radians. No, it's not. It's oh, oh, it's just too Oh, yeah, this is a period, right? Yep. Okay. You told me we worked out radians per okay. second. Oh, yeah, that is radians. per second. And then you divided a number of radians by radians per second. So the radians cancelled and the seconds went from the denominator to the denominator up to the top. Okay? So just and also it's a time. It's a time. Okay? Alright. So far so good. Are you with me so far? Makes sense? <coughs> Now, I think that was the hardest part of the question. The rest of this is actually not that hard. Uh, we're on the, the downhill. Because remember, we noted this before, and we're like, oh, we can't use it yet because we don't know what omega is. But now we do know, so we can use this to find out the tension. Okay? Um, this is just a substitution. In fact, it's so simple, I'm just going to chuck it up here. Tension is equal to, uh, what have I got here? Mass, length. So this is 14, right? 10 times 1.4 times that. That, sorry, squared, right? So that's just going to be times 9.8 on 0 0.7 root 3. Yes? Um, when you go ahead and you can crunch this through, right, you get this, this messy number, okay? But, why? In the textbook, they've just gone back to, they've gone back to this. Yes. Oh, I... Right? Which is like... Anyway, it's like, I like it sometimes and I don't like it other times. I think the only reason why I justify this, uh, why I justify it from their point of view, is because we don't think of times in terms of gravity. Or we don't think of time. It's like, I want to know how long and I just want a number. Whereas we do think of forces in terms of gravity. And that's quite a, so that's the only way I'm going to justify it. Um, I can simplify this just a little bit because this is, um, if, I put, if I multiply the top and bottom by 10, that's going to be 140G, 
on 7 root 3. So I would probably write this. I mean, you could rationalize that denominator if you like, but that's not what this question is about. Okay? Happy? You haven't gotten rid of the G anyway. So yeah, exactly. It's yeah. like, you, know, you, haven't, you haven't gone all the way through this, so what's, yeah. what's, the, what's the point? Okay. All right, let's just, before we move on to number two, remember, the hard part of this was, we've got this down, got our diagram down, and then to work these out, you must carefully think about what is it you need and what do you have to feed into this, right? And so I think this is a critical part. So, right? Sorry? Oh, yes, thank you. Done. 